Probably still some back here. So I don't think I... Yup. That's a fight that I avoided. Okay. If you Let's unloaded right the game in. and reloaded it. Hmm. Let's see. So you can change between any character that you have in your party. Each one has a different technique. Uh, for instance, March here will start enemies frozen. And when you get close, you can see the weaknesses up top of an enemy. If you start the battle with one of their weaknesses, you get advantage in combat. So let's go right up to him and... Pretty good crowd today. So, uh, I'm using an Xbox One controller. The prompts will change if I have mouse and keyboard or if I go back to the controller. Uh, let's see. Because there's multiple people here, I'm going to use her skill. Because her blast hits up to three people. The main one and one on either side. Up. My tempo. Let's go. Same with my MC here. And as you can see, it'll hit two people with weaknesses and bring down that top bar. That is their break meter. When they're broken, they take more damage. And it can sometimes delay their turn, like you see over on the left with the turn order, which can give me more actions to get more damage in. Take this. If you don't have a weakness, it won't affect their break bar, like the one on the right. March's skill isn't a multi-attack. Instead, she can give someone a shield. So we're gonna shield our With healer. Me out here, how can we lose? Naughty children, don't listen. And if I want to break the turn order, I can use any of the ultimates that are ready, like Servals. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. And that was just a simple battle you with some smaller en uh, smaller enemies. Boss battles can be longer. Freeze. But this is a good example of what combat is like and how quick it can go. <laughs> Time for the main event. Rules are made to be broken. quicker. <laughs> oh, hi there. We're just gonna do this again. <laughs> Time for the main event. But as you can see, if I'm gonna use a skill, the meter on the bottom near the right that says four, it'll go down to three because I'm using up one of the skill points. Turn up the volume. Let's make it quick. But if I do a regular attack, it will add to the skill points. So that's where the strategic balancing comes into play. And you can see the turn order on the top left will tell me who's going to go when. Which gives me the chance to figure out whether or not I'm going to need healing or a defensive skill. Or whether I'm just going to go whole hog and try to take this guy out. Which, this thanks to Serval's attack, for you. up at the top you can see any debuffs that the enemy might have. If it's blinking, it means it's going to go away on the next turn. Similarly, at the bottom of our characters down here, we can see any buffs or debuffs we have. Now, the single attack is going to be less powerful than the blast attack. Even though I don't need to target multiple enemies, I'm going to use the blast because the I have plenty of skill points. I'm coming. My tempo. Now, at any point, I can pause combat to pick an alt. Only survives is ready, but I'm not going to need it. Combat's over. <laughs> and that is the basic gameplay you loop for the battles. I like having the main character out because I like smashing things with a baseball bat. <laughs> but yeah, 
there is plenty to explore. This is just one map out of this area. We have... Oops. You can teleport to any of the space anchors that you've unlocked along the way. Multiple floors. And this is all just for the Urello 6 area. So I'm going to get myself back to where I can... Oh! Oh, if I can fight them, I can do more exploration. Nope. Come and get me. Ooh. So if you react a little late, you can get hit. And they start with the advantage. Pretty good crowd today. Yeah, I said it's not gonna matter much. This also means I can show you some of the exploration in an area I haven't already gone through. I told you I could fight. Oh, I should have gone after the other guy. I missed his ice weakness. Oh well. Time. I'm a healer, but... <laughs> Keep up. My tempo. Hi. Oh! You have the worst luck running into me! Watch this! <laughs> the best is yet oh, to come. If enemies are close enough, they'll come wave after wave. But since I drew him away, I get to go fight that guy solo. I don't have any of his weaknesses though, so we're gonna just start it with a little bleed. Found. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a shot. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh, thanks a lot. Naughty children, don't listen. Savor the vigor of life. <laughs> A delicate operation. Boom. Oh? Oh, these are fun. I like these. There we go. Show me treasure. open that other device. That should open the gate over here. This is turning into a slightly longer video than I planned. But this is... Oh, uh, okay. I'll have to come back here later. Okay, then I guess that's good for now. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look into Honkai Star Rail and its gameplay. I'll be popping this up for a bit. Should I do this unlisted? Mm. Eh, I'll leave it as a small tutorial nice. that people can show their friends. So thank you for stopping in. I am going to go ahead and end the recording now. Uh, can I do this cleanly? Oop. 
Have fun.